This is the poster for the Disney film Up. You may have seen it. Released in 2009, it tells the story of an old widower, voiced by Ed Asner, who refuses to move out of his house to make way for some commercial development being built around him. His house sticks out like a sore thumb compared to the skyscrapers either side of him. He then ties hundreds of balloons to his house and leaves to go on adventures. The film was a huge hit, but what most people don't realise, it was actually based on a true story. You have to go all the way to Seattle in America, where a woman called Edith Macefield refused a $1 million offer to move out of her small house to make way for a shopping mall, and then the builders ended up simply building around her. It's called a real estate holdout, also known as a nail house, where no amount of money can make a stubborn homeowner sell up and move on for other developments. The Macefield house is now something of a tourist attraction. You may be asking at this point, what has this got to do with London? Well, in London, we have our very own version of Up, an example of a real estate holdout where the builders simply carried on around them. I'm here on Mile End Road in Whitechapel, outside the Wickham's department store. The store was built in 1927 and was intended to provide competition to Selfridges in Oxford Street and do one better by having a clock tower. One of the shops they wanted to buy and incorporate into the whole building was Spiegelhalters, a family owned jewellery shop. If you look at the roof line of the building, you can see an odd gap. It was here that the jewellery shop was located. You can still see the old Spiegelhalters signage on the front of the building. Unfortunately, when the owners of Wickham's and the Spiegelhalters were unable to agree on a price for the shop, the Spiegelhalters refused to move out, so the department store had to be built around them. You can see that the building was completed with the expectation that the Spiegelhalter family would eventually give in and sell up. They never did, and whilst some refurbishment work has occurred to the frontage, this weird gap still exists to show where the builders had to go around the shop and effectively build the department store in two halves. Wickham's has long since closed down and the building split into units run by other businesses, but the stubbornness of the Spiegelhalter family is still in evidence today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out the other videos on the Offbeat London channel.